Hamlet's second soliloquy uncovers the very essence of his true conflict and his plot to catch the king in his guilt. Hamlet is undeniably committed to seeking revenge for his father, but cannot act immediately as he wishes, due to his revulsion towards committing murder. Hamlet's sense of himself as a coward is derived from a crude and simplistic judgment due to the fact that he has not yet taken any action against the man who murdered his father. Determined to convince himself to carry out the murder of his uncle, he hopes that his passion will halt his better judgment and he will then be able to kill Claudius without hesitation. But Hamlet again fails to crush his fear of committing murder and cannot act immediately. So he decides to try and focus his attention on a plan to ensure Claudius admits his own guilt. He had an idea of staging the play Mousetrap. Hamlet is convinced that as Claudius watches a reenactment of his crime, he will surely reveal his own guilt. Also, Hamlet cannot take the word of his father's ghost because he has suspicions that the spirit may be the devil in disguise tempting Hamlet to kill to damn his soul. That is why he collects more proof before he takes Claudius' life and that is also what he meant by catch the conscience of the king.